And we're back here for the losers set here for Group M of the FX Open Invitational Series. I am Unstable, joined here by Railcoon as we go into uh, FXO's Whale up against Cra Infinity 7's Crazy Moving. It's going to be a pretty good matchup coming up. We're going to have to start on Daybreak as we jump into it. Let's jump down here to uh, Crazy Moving as the Teal uh, Zerg. He's actually going for a 10 pool here and uh, following up with six Zerglings on the way. Up here at the top right, we have FXO's Whale coming up, and we do him have him have the Red Zerg, but he's gone for a little bit of a later pull. Looks like he wanted to go for the hatch first, but then scouted that, that there was the early pull coming out here from Crazy Moving, so this is going to give Crazy Moving a little bit of an edge here, looking at the work yeah, it accounts. Yeah, was like a 12. 15 pool, maybe like a 15 and a half, since he was kind of saving resources, yeah. but he should be alright. Like, if he'd gone for the 15 hatch, this could have been problematic, but... Uh, his Zerglings should be able to be out in time. He just needs to buy some time with his drones. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, I wouldn't expect him to have too much trouble with that. No, he should be able to defend this quite easily. He's got four Zerglings and a Queen coming. He's actually positioned his stuff quite nicely to stop against these uh, Zerglings coming through. Can actually catch them if he wants to. Uh, it needs to be... Whoa, is he going to lose one? No, he's actually bumping uh, bumping right under that, that mineral patch, not allowing one to actually go down. Or did he, I think he just lost his first drone just then. Waiting for those Zerglings to come out, and now he will be able to thwart them. Looking... He's no, he, he didn't that... lose a single one. No, he's doing that thing where when they're stacked up and you do an attack move, they'll all hit the same Zergling, and then yeah. the Zerglings are just dying yeah. immediately. Uh, so that was actually really nice control from Whale. Mm -hmm. uh, actually was killing the Zerglings without losing a single drone because he's stacking up like that. Uh, Crazy Moving didn't even try to camp the the larva to try and stop the zerglings from popping out but the queen was going to be finishing anyway mm -hmm. so even if he had tried that wouldn't have worked out very well for him yep. he's just in a really difficult spot right now without a whole lot of options he's trying to throw down a hatchery but the worker count is in favor of whale right now and whale added in a few more mm -hmm. he's got zergling speed on the way crazy movings is going to be wow his zergling speed is going to be pretty late and that could wind up being something that just turns the game if Whale goes for, like, a counterattack. Yeah, that's very true. Uh, but at the same time, he did get his extra hatchery down a little bit earlier than Whale's. Uh, it's already just finishing up now. So Whale's going to be about a 50 seconds behind there. So it really comes down, does Whale want to be aggressive, or does he want to sit back and play defensively? If It's re it's really up to him. Both situations do work out well for him, because he is uh, he's actually down on oh, workers now. Oh, man. Well, there's going to be a Bailey Nest, so that kind of answers that yeah. question. <laughs> That's why I'm going, oh man, because the Zergling speed's going to be... hasn't even started yet. Mm. And there's going to be Speedlings and Banelings. Queens are better at dealing with the Banelings, but he's not actually going to be able to deal with the Speedlings part of it. And he's droning. Like, he's droning really hard. He's not making any units. Well, this Queen is going to get caught at the front here by a lot of Zerglings. Uh, he will be able to be forced to force Whale to back off because of the extra Zergling backup. But as soon as Link Speed finishes, it's going to finish roughly the same time that these bane, the Bane Link Nest finishes as well. And Crazy Moving trying to come round to, to the north to try and get a scout on what's going on. And he's not going to like what he sees because at this point in time, there's 15 Zerglings out. He's going to have one or two Bane Links. The Spine Crawler is nowhere near going to be done in time. Uh, this Overlord might see the Zerglings move into... Uh, no, uh, Banelings, but no whale wow. saw it with his own, and this went to the... He darted a little bit to the left, so that wouldn't happen, and now his uh, scout for Crazy Moving has seen that Zergling count. He's going to get as many as he possibly can, but he's lava-starved right now, Railcoon. Yeah, he's oh, just no, he now just got starting him. the Baneling Nest, mm -hmm. but it's... That is... I think it's not going to be in time. There's no way. Now he's going to come in with just a ton of Zerglings. He can just try and kill the Queens with the Zerglings, use the Banelings and other Paragates. Uh, Banelings are actually doing good damage, taking out a bunch of Zerglings, and mm -hmm. I... I think that's all she wrote. I'm yeah, sure. that does look like it. There's just two enough. The Spine Crawl had finished at a nice point, uh, but there's just way too many units. He really needed those Banelings. And there's the GG. So Whale will take down game number one here for the Losers set. We'll be right back with game number two between these guys. We'll see if Crazy Moving can bring it back. 